Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. All right, Google Stadia. So let's talk about this. Um, should you keep your pro subscription $10 a month or should you cancel it? Um, I'm going to try to give you my honest opinion on it because I have been playing Google Stadia. I've been supporting Google Stadia since November 21st. Uh, and ever since, you know, I enjoyed it. I'm not going to lie. I mean, Granted, it doesn't have that many games, but the stuff that it does have, it's pretty amazing. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do here, I'm trying to boil down as to, to me, personally, to me. I'm not speaking for everybody. I understand everyone has a different experience, and I'm going to cover that in this video. But I'm going to speak from my experience as to why I think if you're somebody like me who has a good, reliable internet, who has a 4K HDR television, OLED or QLED, why you should maybe think about keeping the subscription. So let's go ahead, let's, uh, let's do this. Well, first thing first, let's start with the, um, the obvious. The obvious is the fact that Google Stadia Pro subscription allows you to have a 4K and HDR experience and it does a really great job by doing so. Uh, also, before we start talking more about Google Stadia, I would just like to do uh, one more thing here. If we could give just uh, maybe 50 seconds of silence for uh, Kobe Bryant. All right, thank you for uh, for understanding that, and you know it's just something I had to do. It's uh, just something I had to honor him in, in some way. And uh, anyway, let's uh, talk about Google Stadia. Google Stadia, guys. Here's the thing: I personally think that Google Stadia Pro subscription, if you have a Chromecast Ultra, if you have a disc controller, an OLED television or QLED, QLED television by Samsung. If you have a very stable internet connection speed, I think you're truly going to benefit from 4K and HDR. Okay. Google Stadia does have a really good 4K HDR representation here. Regardless of what some other people have said, okay, regardless of what Digital Foundry has said, uh, if you have a good, reliable internet connection, I guarantee you, you are going to appreciate just how fluid and how beautiful HDR representation is on your television, okay? Now, everyone experience will be different based on uh, what they have. I'm speaking from my experience. I have a good internet connection. It's very reliable. Uh, I have an OLED television, which is pretty good, and uh, I have Chromecast Ultra with Google Stadia controller. So what I'm trying to say here is this, 
Uh, I do see a benefit in playing games like NBA 2K20 in a crystal clear 4K HDR clarity. And it's really amazing that I'm able to uh, play a game like this with such clarity where it feels as if I'm almost playing it locally. It feels as if I'm playing it locally. And to me, that's the one thing that uh, it's so... Oh, that's so beautiful that Kobe Bryant put it in. That it's, to me, it's something that really surprised me. Uh, guys, I was very skeptical about Google Stadia, whether or not they can they can achieve this. I was, uh, in during the summer of last year... I was laughing. I was like, there's no way they can achieve this. There's O'Neal, two brothers, O'Neal and uh, Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant. Brothers forever and ever. Um, and I'm sorry, guys. Uh, <clears throat> and um, I lost my train of thought. And I, I was surprised to see what what this Chromecast Ultra can actually do. I really didn't expect that Google Stadia was going to be able to deliver 4K and HDR the way it delivers it on a uh, OLED television and a QLED, QLED television. I was really surprised, guys. And the only way to truly understand this, you have to play Google Stadia on your 4K HDR television, like a really good 4K HDR television, with a stable internet connection. Pass it to Kobe. Come on. Pass it to Kobe. Let's go, Kobe. Kobe. Yes, sir. Thank you. Forever and ever. Kobe. Um, and I'm being honest. I'm just speaking honestly and frankly here. I'm not trying to make some fancy pantsy reading a script type of a video. I'm just trying to speak from the experience, guys. And and uh Even though I understand that the, uh, even though I understand that Google Stadia doesn't have that many games, they had a bumpy lunch, and I, I get it. I understand the complaints. Even I complained, but I still see a value in ten dollars a month because. This is something that um, it's 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 hard to believe that I can actually have something like this without any necessary hardware, like a GPU. For you to achieve something like this, you gotta have an NVIDIA, you know, twenty sixty super or something like that, just to be able to to play something like this in this uh, type of uh, clarity, you know. All right, so let's move on to another game really quick, and I'll talk more about it. Sorry, I got a little bit choked up because of Kobe, and, and it's still kind of... Um, um, anyway, let's move on. There's uh, another game here I want to talk about uh, as well, and that's uh, Guilt, which is the uh, part of a pro subscription as well. Uh, and this is running in 4K and HDR. And look how quickly I'm able to click and play these games in 4K and HDR. Uh, and and I hope that you guys understand to truly appreciate Google Stadia you have to have the bundle you gotta have a Chromecast Ultra and Google Stadia controller to truly understand the potential to truly under, understand the bigger picture of Google Stadia the best way to appreciate Google Stadia and I agree with Phil Harrison is through this way, having the Chromecast Ultra, having the controller, and then playing these games on your expensive OLED QLED television that you have. Okay, that's like the only way that you're truly going to understand uh, why this is a totally different experience than what you have on a browser. Browser's okay, but guys, if you are playing... Um, if you're playing Google Stadia only on your browser, then you are not really experiencing Google Stadia. I'm just going to say it like this. Currently, right now, this is the only cloud gaming service that allows you to play 
4K and HDR uh, without any latency, without any input lag, because this uh, controller is connected directly to a Wi-Fi through servers, direct directly to the servers, okay? And um, to truly appreciate the Google Stadia and its games in 4K and HDR, like I said, you got to have these necessary components, where I, which I just mentioned. I mentioned uh, having that rel reliable internet speed, having that um, good 4K HDR television, doesn't have to be OLED, could be QLED, could be Vizio P Quantum QLED, okay? But it has to be a 4K HDR, a good 4K HDR television. And then you gotta have the Chromecast Ultra with this controller. That's like the only way that you're truly gonna understand the benefit of that $10 a month. Let's jump into Red Dead Redemption 2, which is also 4K and HDR. And this was a launch title. Uh, pretty amazing, because uh, you cannot play Red Dead Redemption 2 on GeForce Now. You cannot play it on the uh, X Cloud. You can play it on a Google Stadia in 4K and HDR. Uh, that's a pretty big deal that this was released during a launch. And also, it's a pretty big deal that you can play Doom Eternal. And look how quickly. I don't have to wait for any updates, guys. Look at the convenience. Okay, this is what I've been trying to tell people. Uh, it, it, think, of, think of it this way. You're paying for a convenience. Convenience of you not going through all the hula hoops and jumping through all the hoops and whatnot to, to start a play a game. Because when you're playing a game directly from your PC, an expensive PC which it is, you got to go through so many updates, servers, maintenance, updates, etc., 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 etc. We got to go through all that nonsense. Well, guess what? With Google Stadia, you don't have to worry about that. You kick back in your couch, uh, in, your, in your bed, on your sofa, and you click play. You click this button right here, and you're good to go. You're ready to roll. That's a convenience, guys, at least to me. At least to me. And I know, I know you're going to say, but where's the games? Well, hey, it's Red Dead Redemption too. I mean, uh, it's not like you're getting some half-baked games. This is Crown Jewel Rockstar game, you know, Red Dead Redemption 2 in 4K and HDR with zero latency. I mean, uh, playing it on your OLED without any necessity of uh, expensive GPU hardware. Okay? That, to me... It's something that I truly value when it comes to uh, Google Stadia Pro subscription. And this is why I'm doing this video to tell you I'm not going to cancel that $10 a month. Okay. Especially now that the two Doom Eternal is coming out. And people say there's no games to play. Are you kidding me? I can play online. Just Red Dead Redemption 2 online. It's more than enough. Destiny 2. Uh, Supercross 3, um, what's the other one? Uh, the Grid, we got The Grid, we can play that. We got Mortal Kombat, we can play that. I mean, th there's a tons of stuff uh, here to play, okay? And more are coming on the way, like Doom Eternal. The tournaments and the Doom Eternal, the single player, the, uh, the multiplayer, the tournaments and the Doom Eternal, I mean... Cyber, I mean, Cyberpunk 20... Think about this. Think about how much it's going to cost you to pay for that 2080 Ti Cy Cyberpunk graphics card versus you playing this, playing it on your television, click of a button. The, 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 just the one fact alone that I'll be able to play Cyberpunk 27.7 in September 28th of this year with the click of a button without waiting for any updates, drivers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Convenience, okay? And, and um, that's what it's all about, guys. And I know I've been kind of critical of Phil Harrison, but I think I understand his position on this and, and why he might be right. And I think he's right. It's convenience. Okay, you're paying for a convenience. I know it's going to sound kind of cliche and fishy or whatever, but... Uh, it's going to sound as if I'm like kissing, you know, Phil Harrison's uh, bald head or kissing his ass. I'm not kissing his bald head. I'm not kissing his ass. Excuse my language. I'm just simply saying he's right. 
I, I agree on what he said. You know, you want the convenience? Well, this is it. Do you want to spend three thousand dollars building a PC? Do you want to deal with a with a uh, incompatible drivers and updates and maintenance on the drivers and updates, etc., etc., etc.? Do you want to deal with that kind of nonsense? Go right ahead and deal with that. Guess what? Here, you don't have to deal with that nonsense. Okay, and that's a pretty big deal, uh, if you ask me. That's a pretty big deal to me. So. Yes, I understand Google Stadia doesn't have that many games, but what they do have is pretty darn good. Okay, like I said, Red Dead Redemption 2. Probably Grand Theft Auto 5 is going to be coming up. How do I know it's going to be coming up? Because they have a partnership deal with the Rockstar. So yes, you're probably going to see a Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto 6 in the future. Google Stadia is something that's going to take time to evolve. It's not going to happen overnight. Nothing was built overnight. And Google Stadia is not going to evolve overnight. It's not going to surprise you overnight. But give it a couple of years, like 2021, 2023, especially 2024, I think you guys are going to be surprised what Google Stadia is going to have for you in store. And here's a yet another game, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which is 4K and HDR. You can choose between the performance mode and a high resolution mode which gives you a high res that goes up to 4k and of course the hdr which also can be adjusted as well you know and the fact again that that you can so quickly click and play a game like this that requires a lot of gpu power and memory and cpu power the fact that you can just click and start playing something like this on your 4K HDR, on your OLED, even on your 4K HDR projector. Okay, any of your 4K HDR panels that you might have. I think that's to me, it speaks volume of, high volume of convenience. And that's what I mean when I say convenience. It truly really is convenient to play like this. Okay, and the fact that I'll be able to play a Doom Eternal, click of a button... On March 20th, without waiting for any updates, without waiting for any uh, drivers updates or any maintenance on the servers, everything will be up to date. It will be will be running smooth and good to go. That's a convenience. That's that's how it should be. That's the future. Kick back, relax. You got a you had a long day. Come back home. You get to play some Doom. Kick back, relax, and start watching Netflix. After that, you don't have to wait for any stupid updates. Ah. Uh, Hey, so and on top of that, you're going to be playing Doom Eternal 60 FPS with 4K and HDR. Come on, man. Same thing with the Cyberpunk 27.7. Um, I just maybe, listen, I'm speaking from my perspective. This is just my opinions. I'm not trying here to tell you what to do. I'm just giving you some, I'm, flip, I'm, I'm just giving you the other side of the coin. I'm flipping the coin and showing you the other side of the coin to, to tell you my side of the story. Okay? Because everybody's riding that GeForce Now bandwagon and the Amazon band bandwagon, even though Amazon hasn't even released yet, which is kind of ridiculous to even talk about the Amazon without being released. Uh, let's just wait. But to dismiss Google Stadia, I don't think you have experienced it properly. If you don't have a good 4K HDR television, if you don't have a good uh, reliable internet connection, the best way, here's what I'm going to say before I end this video, the best way to appreciate 4K HDR and that $10 a month pro subscription, it's by playing it on your OLED expensive television and your Samsung QLED expensive television. With, of course, this controller and the Chromecast Ultra. Google Stadia is not meant to be really played on your browser. I'm just going to say it right out the gate. If you're playing it on your browser, then you're just wasting time. Don't play it on your browser. Play it on your television. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So let me know what you think. I gave you my thoughts. I gave you my opinions. It's been 20 minutes. This video is recorded in HDR. It's not a 4K resolution. It's a, it's a different type of... It's a QHD resolution. That's downgraded to 1080p to fit this uh, ratio, but it is in HDR. If your cell phone or if your TV supports HDR, you'll enjoy this in HDR. Anyway, let me know what you think. 
Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon.